this is Abraham uh, with one more tutorial and today we'll be learning how to create perspective shadows using Flash CS4 and all this checker version by help and about. Let's start by creating a new document. And let's use our web address for the purpose of a sample image say-web.com is um, our website and there we have plenty of tutorials all free you can also download the text of the tutorials the source files and there we have a sample image say web say-web.com and we'll be copying it copying it this is the object and the copy will be transformed into a shadow we're pretty done, pretty much done with this uh, layer. Let's name the layer and lock it. Now we will be creating an additional layer for the shadow, and on doing this, make sure that is underneath the original object layer. So we're gonna have the shadow before the object, it's pretty much, and let's paste in place. There's several types of pasting and. For this purpose, we don't see that it's pasted right now because it's just one right on top of the other. Upon pasting, let's transform on a symbol, and the shadow effect only works on symbols, so it has to become a symbol. And let's go to properties. First of all, need to say scroll down, you see a little box. I still don't know why they hide it, but we have drop shadow and that's a basic shadow that's not what we're looking for it has its use as an effect but we want a perspective shadow and let's for as hide the object we don't see yet the object is hidden because we have an overlapping layer but if we hide the layer you can see that all we have now is black now let's create the perspective using the free transform tool you stretch skew and press the alt key to anchor anchor the shadow base so they align with one another and we can also change the effect for um, a lighter shadow not completely back black by um, changing the blur now the blur is optimized to work with multiples of four, meaning that four, five, and five, six is almost as the same as eight. So let's just try perhaps here, 16, I guess, if not something else. But you can see already pretty much that the effect, the perspective effect was created. And looks like a shadow, it looks like a shadow. Thanks for watching my video clip welcome to visit our website for other tutorials and um, you can also send me questions suggestions remarks complaints more than welcome thanks again